this is going to be interesting. You don't realize how much your life actually changes once you graduate high school until you're in the moment. And some people, it hits them instantly and or beforehand and they notice that their life is going to change. But for me personally, it, I like don't experience emotions in the moment or look at the outcome. I, for one, am the person who gets it last. I, um, everything like the past like week and a half has just been like, everything has been hitting me all at once and it's just like one thing right after another that just keeps leading up to like so much on my plate that like I can't handle. In life, I have been given so much opportunities to be able to live out my dream of filmmaking. And I am like so thankful and honored to have worked with so many people and have met so many people that have influenced me to be the person that I am today and have the network and outlet that I do to be able to put out my content that I love being able to give you guys. and. The thing that really motivates me is the struggles in my life and the world around me. You don't really know how much, um, how difficult things get. until you realize until you're in the moment for me and I don't handle these things like the best but um I try and my way of dealing with things is very different from other people. I can't like explain to you how much you should appreciate your family, especially your parents, for how much they do for you. Because you don't really notice how much they care about you and how much you actually love them until they're actually gone. And I like thank my parents so much for the support they've given me. Um, and now that I don't really live with them anymore, and they're like thousands of miles away from me now, up north in DC, and I'm in South Florida now, and there's such a distance that it's hard for me to be able to just say that I can walk right downstairs and sit down with them in the living room. It's now going to cost money and taking time off from work to be able to see them. And whenever you do graduate high school and or go off into the real world or college, you're not going to be able to be with them as much anymore and the only times that you're going to be able to see them is whenever you have Thanksgiving dinner or you're at home for Christmas and getting phone calls and it's more on the lines of have you been and or I love you. I'm very appreciative that I have my sister here um, so I have a part of family here still. And mm. 
missing old friends and um, people just around me in the community of where I used to live. Like I didn't really notice what I had until it was gone. And that's a majority of the time of how it works. And, um, there are people that I'm going to always remember and will forever thank them and love them for all that they have given to me and or just them as a person. The real world is actually a lot more tough than I actually thought. Like you always, in high school, you're gonna say, I can't wait to get out of here and just live my own life and never have to see my parents again. That is the worst assumption that you could, that is one of the most childish things that you could say. That shows that you actually are not prepared. In the real world, people do not care about you. You have to have confidence. You have to be prepared for whatever life throws at you. And you have to be open to criticism and being able to stay on top of things and being organized and just being professional when you have to be and just doing adult things and paying for bills and buying your own food, doing your own laundry, and getting to and from work on a daily basis. And barely having any time to do whatever you want. And just knowing that whatever you do is gonna cost money, and that money that I do not have. And the world, sadly, just revolves around money. It's the truth. The feeling of being alone is one of the worst things that you could possibly experience in the world. Feeling helpless and Wishing that you could do things that you want to do, but knowing that it possibly could not be a reality. And that's the mindset that I I shouldn't have, but it is what it is because I like, I just can't wrap my head around some things. And that is where I get anxious and that's where I lose my confidence in doing things that I want to do. And then I miss out on it. And that is a part of being in the real world is that you have to have confidence and you have to do what you want to do to achieve success and achieve your goals that you set. People are going to tell you no constantly, but you can't take no for an answer. Steven Spielberg, when he was making the production of Jaws back in the 70s, he was almost thrown off of the film, and the film was almost never made because of how they went over budget and they went over their schedule, and it all came back to him. And they were so close to pulling the plug, and producers were pulling out, and the company was giving them so much shit that the film almost was never made. And he ran into so many problems with things on set and like the shark not working and he didn't give up. He had hope in what he believed in and he kept pushing and pushing and pushing and did not take no for an answer. Because he had a goal in mind and he had the mindset of getting people in the world to see his content. Now it is one of the most known films in cinematic history that everybody knows and the theme song 
and made people scared of going into the oceans. That's how much of an impact his film had. And if he wouldn't have, if he would have just given up, that film would have never been made. It would, the world would be totally different. Just one small thing that never would happen would change the course of history, would just change everybody and their mindset tremendously. And I'm paying rent with my sister on our new apartment and the cost of living in South Florida is a lot higher than what we were used to. And having to still have money to pay for gas, which is a lot, and the gas prices down here are a lot higher and buying food and just having money left over for normal expenses. And it's a lot. Like, I know I don't want to sound like that spoiled kid, but this world is not easy and don't think that it is because you have to have thick skin and you have to be prepared for whatever life throws at you. I'm really thankful for having a job with Starbucks because they have given me so much and have helped me out in life tremendously and have taught me so many things and I met so many different and diverse people whether it being the partners that I work with whether it being different types of customers or just people that I can have a conversation about Starbucks with and I have um, one of the biggest things that I'm thankful from them is that they're allowing me to pursue my um, degree in my general education through Arizona State University as a full ride. And after that, I am transferring to the LA Film School so that I can get my degree in motion picture arts with the general education credits and requirements that I need to be able to pursue that. And you always have to have people by your side that can help you through tough times and be there for one another when you actually need it. And I am thankful that people at my work are capable of doing that for me and being there for one another. And just from the smallest things that they can offer, they will do. And I've been able to already meet new people in the area who have the same passion that I do that I can rely on in any type of situation in my life, especially at the moment. It's just so surreal to me that this is a, such a tough world that we live in and being so young, we make so many mistakes and things will happen suddenly. And my, like, for example, I am having problems with my car at the moment and I basically do not have a car to drive around in right now. So I'm putting more money into buying Ubers and Lyfts to be able to get me to and from work only. And that's a 30 um, minute trip to work from home. And money comes into play and the stress comes into play. And that is, I'm just afraid on how much it's gonna cost to be able to fix my car. And I just it, have so many questions that are unanswered that I am just really overwhelmed and afraid of the outcome of my car and that's just like one of the smallest things like at the moment that I'm dealing with that seems like it's not a big deal but it actually is because my transportation is where I get my money from without transportation I can't get to work and without going to work there's no money I just want people to open their eyes and just be prepared for whatever life throws at you because I don't want people to go through treading every single day and just not knowing what's going to happen because I don't want people to go through misery of being afraid and alone in life and know that you have people surrounding you that actually love you and care for you and that 
you are not alone. There are other people in the world who are going through exactly what you're going through. And that should give you hope to know that you're not the only one. I've broken down several times within the past year and running to such and kept running into dead ends and there are a lot of things that I've learned from them that have molded me into the person that has created me to be the person that I am today and knowing now how to avoid things and go on with life strong and with an open mind because it'll get better and you don't have to stress and procrastinate about things in your life because you are who you are and things happen for a reason because they can make us stronger and can teach us life lessons that we can avoid in the future. But it is up to you to be who you want to be, to have your life goal, and not be afraid to take on a challenge. Life is hard right now and it's going to take some time to overcome a lot of things that I'm going through and I just want people to know that I'm fine and I may look like I'm having fun but there's still times where I am off camera having like fucking panic attacks or something like that but I know that there are people around me that actually care for me and are going to be alongside of this with me and Are reflecting too much. Um, I just want to thank all of you who are supporting me and helping me along the way and starting this journey with me. Because I want to be the one who inspires people to have confidence and be themselves and be prepared and not make the mistakes that I do and knowing that. I'm going through exactly what you're going through. But the things that make me happy and can distract me from the things in life that are tough and bring me down and just cost so much on just my plate and everything like that is by making vlogs and by making films and hanging out with people who love and support me. That's what gets me through life. And I hope it does for you too. Thank you. Thank you.